Cooking salmon on the grill can be a little tough, but if you put it on a cedar plank, it can make all the difference. We're gonna crust it up with a little bit of smoky brown sugar. Let's get cooking with style. Cooking salmon on the grill can take a little bit of practice, but if you do it on a cedar plank, it's a no-brainer. The first thing you wanna make sure you do is soak this cedar plank for at least two hours. I soak mine overnight. And to spice up this salmon, we're gonna put a nice little brown sugar rub on it with a little bit of espresso in there. So I've got my brown sugar, espresso, black pepper, kosher salt, and smoked paprika. And this is how simple this is. It's a cool little rub. It really kind of only works on salmon because of the richness of the salmon. And we're just gonna mix this up like so. And you don't have to get all the crumbs or all the chunks of the brown sugar perfectly blended in. With our salmon, I'm just gonna take the cedar plank, lay it like that, put these on an angle, and we've got our grill on medium high. And I'm putting these on now before I put my brown sugar smoky flavored rub on top because I want that to kind of surround all of the salmon. And I'm just gonna put a really nice healthy coat on top of this salmon. And like I said, my grill is all prepped and ready to go. And my cedar plank is nice and wet and we're gonna put this right on top. And it's actually gonna possibly catch on fire as it does. And I'm gonna lay this on the hotter part of the grill. And we put it just like that, put the lid down and check it in about 10 minutes. Been about 10 minutes on this salmon. If you're unsure, you can just take a knife and just kind of push in it. And if it flakes apart like that, then you know it is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this cedar plank off. And you gotta be really careful now because this thing is smoking hot. I'm gonna set it off to the side there. And just for a moment, I wanna explain some things because there's been a, a moratorium on fishing salmon in the Pacific Northwest. So you're pretty much relegated to farm raised. There is a difference. If you buy salmon that is, say, farm-raised in just those big pens, it can be a problem. These, this salmon is Schooner Bay salmon. I'm not saying endorse this, but this particular salmon lives in an area where there's a lot of current and it makes the salmon swim. And you can see the fat lines in here, kind of like the difference between beef, select, and choice. I like to go with a little bit more money up front. It saves money in the end because you get a higher quality product. Let's get our salmon on the serving board here and see how nice that comes off. And we're just gonna plate this up just like this. And I gotta tell you, this is just like candy because of that brown sugar on top. It's a little hot to say the least. Ooh. Can I fit one more on there? I need to squeeze it in right there. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do I'm using lime instead of lemon. The reason I'm using the lime, I love, love, love the flavor profile of limes. They have a little bit of sweetness to them and they accentuate the brown sugar in all of this. It's top notch. Talk about casual elegance. If you'd like this recipe for this cedar plank salmon, go to cbs8.com slash recipes.